Hi everyone, I'm Shantanu here from Web Center and OCPM team. Today in my blog, I'll show you that how easily you can create a Docker environment of Web Center content by just spending a couple of hours. There are two options you can uh, you can create your environment. One is that you can download the ready-made image uh, of Web Center content from ARU, or you can build the image using WCC binaries. So in my blog, I'll show you that how easily you can build the image. You can see here, this is the github.com and Oracle Docker images. Uh, here, all the fusion material infrastructure images are present. You can see Oracle Web Center content is one of them, even portal and sites are also here. And I'll just go to Oracle Web Center content folder, and you can see here the readme file where the documentation is there. And I'll just click on Oracle Web Center content 12 to 140 little documentation. If you open it, you can see the steps to create the image one by one. And I will show that how easily you can create it. Before creating the image, remember a couple of hardware requirements. One is that RAM size, one is disk space. Uh, currently, we, on, we have only certified for Oracle Linux, and that is 7.3 or higher. And the Docker version is 7.03 or higher. Okay. So this is my machine. I have created a uh, Docker demo compute uh, machine, and I'll be uh, creating the instance, creating the uh, content image uh, and container here. Okay, so before uh, going through first, you have to install the Docker engine, right? So you can use yum uh, to install Docker engine in your machine. Uh, and I'm running the same, sudo yum install Docker engine, and uh, it will install the Docker in your machine. And after that, if you run Docker info, you can see that I have installed Docker 19.0.03.11 uh, version in my machine, and it's running fine. And after that, I have to add the Docker uh, into the group, and also I have to add my user into the uh, Docker group. So I'm just running the command, should the group add, should the user mode, and should the service Docker start, it will start the Docker in your machine. And after doing this thing, if you think that if you run any command, if you see that Docker daemon is not running properly, um, just do some reload or uh, restart the Docker in your machine or log out and log in back. You can see your Docker daemon will be running. And if you run Docker PS a comment, you can see the Docker comment is running. And I don't have any container as of now in the machine because this is a, a completely blank machine, right? Uh, now I will uh, clone this thing. So as I told that I have to uh, clone this entire script of Web Center content uh, from my uh, Docker image is in Git, so I'm I'm doing that, and after doing that, I can see that I have a Docker images folder. So complete uh, this uh, script is downloaded in my machine, and all the folders are folders that create all the scripts are created in my machine. Next is that um, I have to add the user, uh, my current user, like I'm I'm using OPC, so I'm adding this user into the Docker. So using the common pseudo um, user has been user at, and I'm giving thousand thousand uh, to my OPC. Okay, and after adding this user, I have to run the proxy command uh, to. Uh, but uh, in my machine, I don't need a proxy command; it's already running. But if you need, you can have to run this proxy command in your machine. And after running the proxy command, you have to create the network. Uh, so you can see I'm creating a network. Uh, Docker network create Web Center content network. So I'm creating a network with the name like WCC, the WC content network. After the network creation, I have to create a mount tree by which the image which will be created, it can store all the data into a uh, machine directory, into the host directory, right? So I'm creating a host directory uh, and I'll be adding, uh, I'll be exporting that host directory, the data volume. So we call it data volume. And you can see here. So what I'm doing that I've created a directory, like host directory, you can see here, you can give any name, it's as per choice. Now after that, I am exporting that host directory into the data volume uh, variable, and also I'm uh, giving the permission proper to this directory. Okay, and all, uh, after doing these things, you can see here that uh, that uh, it's, it's working fine. And now I have to do the database. Uh, so you should have some database in your machine. Uh, you can use the DBCS, you can use 
compute image of database, you can install the database in the same machine also, or you can also have a uh, database as a container. So you can also install database as a container by following this documentation. Uh, but as of now, you know, I have that DBCS and my DBCS is running fine. So I'm not going to show you that how to install a database. And now I'll start to build the image. And for building the image, I have to yeah, get the fusion middle infrastructure image first. So the fusion middle, you know, the to install the content you need, you need database and fusion middle infrastructure, right? So I'll be uh, download install uh, pulling the fusion middle infrastructure image by following this command. So this is Oracle Content Registry where all the you can see the content registry oracle.com. If you log in here, you can see that. Fusion Bridge infrastructure image is present and set the middleware properties. So a lot of other images are also here. And I'll be just accepting this thing and then I will go and I will download the image or pull the image. So you can see here first, I have logged into the Docker container using this comment, right? You can see here Docker login and it will ask my user ID password. So I'll have to log in, I have given my SSO. And after doing this thing, you can uh, run the Docker images command. You can see the Docker images, no, 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 there was no image. And after the Docker pull command, and I'm pulling the fusion middle infrastructure tool to one foot in my machine. And after pulling the image, if I run the command Docker images, you can see that the image is here, okay? Uh, and after that, you can, uh, you have to, you have to uh, in download also the fusion middle tool to one foot zero in the content jar from the website content uh, download uh, uh, link and you can download the website content software and you have to push that software or by somehow into this virtual machine or into the machine right and after that you have to copy this fusion middle infrastructure jar into the 12 to 1 for this docker files 12 to 1 for this folder so i have copied it into the 12 to 1 for folder of my docker scripts and now i'll build the image using the build docker image dot sh with the version so what it will do it will take the fusion middle infrastructure image and it will take the original content jar and all the other couple of scripts and it will create the image it will take about 10 minutes to build the image uh, you can see that the building image is going on it will take a couple of minutes and after uh, near about 10 minutes you can see that the oracle slash wc content tool to one for the image is ready so you have seen that how easy to build the image right now i have the image and i have to just run the image as a container and to create the con before creating the container you know that there are a couple of uh, configuration you have to provide so we are keeping all these configuration into web center environment list file and you can you can copy this thing and you can create a vi and you can create a uh, file uh w center environment list file and you can provide the details like whether you want to drop the schema or not, what is the database connection script, what is the R2 prefix, what is the DB password and schema password, and all the other things like what is the container name, I'm giving WCC admin container, what is the admin container name and the port number, and the managed servers port number, internet of port number, IB internet of port number, all those things. And this is the host name is the Docker demo. As, it, as I told that I've created a machine in the name is Docker demo, so the same host name I'll give it here. Okay. And after doing this thing, just have to docker run comment to create the container. So first I'll create the admin container, then I'll go and create the uh, web center content container. So to run the admin container, this is a comment docker run uh, hyphen minus d and name. So this is a con admin container. And I'm running in detached mode because I'm going to see the logs here separately. So you can see here, and I'm just seeing the logs using the docker logs comment. And I can I can see that it's, it's the web center content docker container. Is Start it in parallel. I, I will go to my uh, network clear and will show that like how you have to, you have to check this thing there whether your all the ports are uh, are enabled and you can access these ports like system to the 200, 250, and 7001 because you'll be accessing this thing from your local machine, right? And uh, then if I come back, you can see that this admin server container is going on and the port is created and is a running state. So remember, WCC port container is running state and the admin server is running state right so you can see here and now if i access my uh, the same ip and 7001 console and i can see that my admin server is running i can access my console okay and i can see ibs server you see server this has shut down state because still i have not run the content container and now i'll run the 
Docker PS hyphen a comment to just see that what are the containers are running. I can see that Oracle um, admin container is running here. Okay, WCC admin container is running and it's 7001. Okay, and now I'll come here and I'll run the comment for WCC content container by providing the port number and everything which I've given in my, in my environment file. Okay, and I'm giving the uh, also the, the environment list file, which is the um, input for this comment. And after running this comment, you can see that first the UCM server will start. It will uh, it will wait until UCM server start. And after and after UCM server is getting started, it will start the IVR server. And you can see that IVR server is started. And after a couple of minutes, you can see that IVR server is also started. So my all the managed server is started. Now I can run the Docker PS in a comment. I can see that I can have two containers. One is the admin container and one is um, uh, also the content containers. Both these containers are running perfectly. And now I'll go and I'll access the machine. I can see that IVR server and UCM servers are running from console. I can now access my 6200 port uh, and I can see that it's running fine and I can access it. I can access the inbound dictionary also. And I see the login screen is coming. So all the applications are accessible. You can stop and start the, at any time, you can stop the start of the container using this Docker stop or start comment. So if you want to first stop the uh, WCC content container and then stop the admin container. And if you're starting, remember first start the admin container, then content container. And you can see the log and everything of the, or you can execute that, uh, you can go to the sale of that particular machine by using this execute comment. That's all. And hope you like it and it will help you to install the Docker or Postgre content in your machine. Thank you.